Last year has been tough for humanity. With the oncoming of coronavirus, we were forced to live in our homes. Lockdown was imposed in all countries all around the world. But what if I tell you that lockdown can happen again and due to environmental issues? It was hard for a younger generation like ours to realize that now the lockdown is not just due to deadly virus but due to deadly air. I recently went to Delhi and I was wearing a sleeveless shirt. Just 15 minutes if you stand in the sun, your skin will start itching. According to the doctors, prolonged having those type of pollution can also cause skin cancer, diseases like asthma and many other skin problems. Is there a solution? Yes or no? Maybe yes. Are we doing it? Maybe not. Around 15 years ago, I was sitting with my grandfather. We had a very special bond that every day he used to take me with him to the forest. He used to tell me about the various sparrows, about the various type of flora, fauna, about the type of trees. But I used to cherish those moments. And two years back, I again went to that place, didn't even find a single sparrow. Sparrow population have been declining from last three decades. And it took me a decade to understand that and realize that. And just to see in front of me that there are no sparrows. If you ask a five-year-old today, that has he seen a sparrow, he will, see, he will say that, sir, I have seen them in books and not in real life. Now, this is a bit sad. Let me share a wonderful human analogy of a boiling frog with all of you. And this is how a human brain and mind reacts. But before going into that, a frog is a cold-blooded amphibian. That means that according to the surrounding temperature, their body temperature also changes. So, if you, so let's take two cases. In case number one, you keep a boiling water and you keep a frog in it, it will directly jump for, from it. But if you keep a water at its body temperature, they will be fine with it. But now, if you slowly and slowly keep increasing the temperature, their body will slowly adjust to the temperature. And once it reaches a certain boiling point, that frog can get killed. So let's understand the mentality of frog in both the cases. In case one, once when we just poured the hot water in it, he immediately jumped. He saw that there is an immediate danger and tried to avoid it. In case number two, since he felt that there is no danger, he kept on sitting on it. And his body slowly and slowly and slowly started adapting to the environment. And even without him knowing, it went so bad, the environment went so bad that he actually died. Don't you think this is similar? Now let's take analogy of humans. Imagine that you are going for a trek in beautiful Himalayas and encounter a snow leopard. But you saw that and he has not seen you. What would you do? Obviously, you will not try to get attention or fight. You will just try to avoid it and go back to your human habitats. Now let's imagine another scenario. You are in the same Himalayas and snake, snow leopard is now attacking you. What would you do? At least try to fight it. Come on, we are all humans. So let's try to understand these two cases also. In case number one, the danger was right in front of you. But since according to you, it was not a danger because he has not seen you. You avoided that scenario and you moved ahead and went back, right? In case number two, the danger was in front of you and you could sense the danger. You tried to fight it. Now, if you consider both frogs and humans, we are alike. When we sense that there is no danger, we avoid it. But if there is any danger, we try to fight it. But if you understand in the frog's case, frog died due to long heat, which he thought was normal. What if in the first case, if you are in front of snow leopard and you think it's a domestic animal, he will directly eat you because you thought it was no danger. Same is the situation with climate nowadays. We are like a frog who is trying constantly to adjust to the environment, which is the temperature is increasing at 0.01% level. But why as a conscious human being, an intelligent human being, for most of us, it is unalarming. Aren't we the intelligent species? Because we are thinking that snow leopard are kind of domestic animal. Also, we are thinking that the rising temperature won't kill us. Every decade, the earth temperature is rising by 0.08 degree. And in 2100, around 200 million people would be affected and many cities and countries would be underwater. Even regular floods would be a very common scenario in many countries. But if we have the stats, then why are we not acting on it? Because the average global expectancy is around 72 years. I'll repeat that again. 
because the average global ex expectancy life expectancy is around 72 years that means we have approximately 7 decades to live in which half of the individual life goes towards creating a livelihood isn't it another half just enjoying it or even going with the flow but one thing is reality many companies many ngos are doing a very great work toward a sustainable future but what as an individual you should do last year we met thousands of students I personally met them from all over India who were into government school and private school. I asked them if they have ever planted a tree and they said yes. I asked where the tree was and actually I was very happy while asking these questions. And they said that it died. Now this broke me a little bit. I again tried to ask them. I asked why did it die? They said that sir, we are unable to give enough attention. Now if a 5 year old child can say that he doesn't have time to give the attention, I think that as an adult we also don't have time. But we need to understand these small efforts will cause more results. We have to keep time for them also, isn't it? We also did this experiment at the corporate level. We approached few companies and asked their employees. The sample size here being around 1000 employees and the average age group is 27 to 40 years. We asked them, how many plants have you planted in the last decade? The results were a bit horrifying. Only 20% of them have planted even a single plant in the last 10 years. Now to give it more context, the Zika virus originated from Zika forest. New Delhi pollution is caused due to making more houses and cutting down an entire forest. When you cut down the entire forest, it is very easy for deadly virus to even originate. It causes a disbalance in the ecosystem. With that, we make few changes in the organization. So at least we can achieve some goals towards a better future. We said that if there is a team member's birthday, or appreciation or even price distribution or even someone is doing a good work we plant a tree in their name now this method is very simple to use and can be used in each and every organization even at a very big mnc a startup a mid-level company or even college even at college level if a student is performing poor and has shown some result in the next semester plant a tree with him at the corporate level if an employee is making a progress plant a tree not just limit yourself to the progress. If a new joinee comes in, make sure to plant a tree. When he performs, plant a tree. Even when he resigns, plant a tree. According to the study that was conducted by us, we found that in an employee life cycle of one year, he or she is rewarded more than 24 times. That means one person can plant around 24 trees. Just imagine if all the CEOs, founders, managers make this a mandate we would be making an individual effort towards saving the planet, isn't it? According to the NASA research, nitrogen dioxide was down by 20% during lockdown. Yes, it was a hard year, we lost many lives, but for no nature restoration, it was a good one. Let's not wait for top to bottom approach. As an individual, we should all contribute. It can just start with, you know, coming together in a bus, using less electricity, not producing much waste and recycling it. But most importantly, observe, observe what is around us. Observation that 10 years ago, this was the condition and now it is worse. Are you ready for a lockdown due to pollution? Are you ready to take oxygen cans everywhere you go? Are you ready to only walk in specialized suits? I am not. So let's try to change it.